All right, I want to do a real quick video on a cool tool that didn't make it, and this is it. This is a, um, Vi a Vice Grips toolbox, and uh, it's you know the real Irwin, I guess, is uh, the Vice Grips company, and um, I've had this for at least ten years, maybe longer than that. It's made in America, and. Um, it's very interesting, very useful. And it had a sheath, it had sort of a heavy duty craft uh, sheath. And um, I'll show you some of the features. Okay, so it has this, this is sort of a weird profile for the vice grips thing, so you, but you can grab a pipe easy with it. It's got uh, dikes here, so you can cut wire with it. Um, it's, you know, f f fully adjustable, just like normally normal vice grips. And on this side, We've got, I think this is a sheep's foot uh, knife, very, very sharp. And then we got a drop point or a clip point, and I forget what which what this is called, but uh, let me see. This is you can tell it's not been used much. I got my kids in the office, so they're gonna, they make an appearance. I apologize. So we got a, um, I think it's a clip point. Oh, these are stuck together here. That's how long it's been since I've used this. There we go. And it looks like the end here. But it, it's a lock back. It locks. It has sort of a neat locking mechanism. And then when you push the sheep's head, uh, sheep's foot uh, blade, uh, push it in, it undoes this lock, this catch, so that you can close the blade. Now it also has a bit holder and you can use other bits here, not just um, the ones that came with it. So there's my Phillips and here is my normal flathead thing. And it too, it locks in this position and it also locks in that position. So if you're doing something heavy, it's not going to easily fold back. But here again, you push the uh, sheep's foot uh, blade down and it unlocks the locking mechanism and it can close. Now this is one of those things that's, uh, you know, I got to have a buddy of mine that uh, his family owns a wholesale oil distributorship and uh, his dad, every time he sees a pair of vice grips, um, throws them in the trash. And uh, that's because he says, you know, if you let his employees have them, that they'll round off every bolt in the place. Uh, but uh, very useful. Uh, I have fixed a great many things and this is something that, um, you know, it might be too heavy to uh, to carry around with you, to put it on your belt, but it's definitely not too heavy to put um, in a glove compartment or console or in your regular toolbox. So, and it, it's no longer manufactured. I actually went to get some other ones um, a couple years ago, and they no longer manufacture this model, but it's the Vice Grip Toolbox. And I don't know, uh, Maybe the price, the price, I think it costs like $12 or something. It wasn't expensive. Um, and the quality is really good. And it's made in America. So that's another, you know, keeping this around makes me feel better about all the, um, all the Chinese and Taiwanese uh, vice grips I've used in the past. It's sort of like a made in America street cred. But this is another uh, cool tool, one that didn't make it. And um, it's, really a useful thing and I'm, I'm glad that I have it. Um, I don't know if they're one of the knockoff manufacturers will make something similar but uh, have used this over and over and over and over again. Uh, so it's at least 10 maybe 12 years old and uh, it, it really does work. It's a it is a cool tool but it's one that didn't make it. I'm only happy when it rains